red tooth, its top littered with man-made eyes that stare into the endless depths of space. Tonight, the Champion of Light will depend on them to pick out a message from the ether. As history repeats itself, the man remembers the patterns. He knows that he needs the missing part for the telescope. I'd better find Dr. Meadow's car. When Dr. Rachel Meadows got the call from Michael, telling her to hurry to the observatory, she didn't waste any time. It had been a nice party. She'd had a good time, but her social life would always play second fiddle to the mysteries of space. Michael never showed up, of course. He pulled over at the wrong rest stop. She never even thought about him at the time. The phenomenon in the sky above her was too fascinating. There are places where our world is worn thin and another reality brushes against ours. One such site is Cauldron Lake near Bright Falls, Washington, but there are others. That other reality is dark, vast and malleable, always in flux. In its depths dwell vast forces and alien energies. They're dangerous, but in one of these places, if you know how, you can channel the power of that place and use it to shape reality.
The darkness rose from the depths of Cauldron Lake and took Alice. It needed words. It needed me to write its way into our world. She was leverage, a hostage. I complied, but with a twist. I put in a loophole that gave me a chance to fight back. I was hunted by shadowy enemies, but I faced the darkness. I fought it with light. I drove it back. I saved Alice, but it came with a cost. I was trapped in the dark place below Cauldron Lake. Stories come naturally to us. We can't help it. There are many different worlds, many competing realities within our heads, fueled by books, television, even barely remembered childhood tales. There's an endless supply of fictional concepts more familiar to us than anything or anyone real. We have a far greater connection to the fictional characters we know and love than the random people we pass on the street. Our destinies and inspirations are shaped by lies, myths, and fables. It's you! How dare you! No, wait. It isn't you, is it? I... I suppose you'd better come in. I'll... I'll unlock the door. Thanks. I know what you're thinking. Evil twin, supernatural powers. But most of the time, I just like to keep things basic. I want you to understand that. Like this. Need to get your hands dirty? No batteries, no moving parts, just physics. That's technology you can depend on. It's a classic. Speaking of classics, you need to be careful with this one, though. If the victim suddenly twists, you might end up cutting yourself. It's not really a workhorse, but I'm a sucker for this style. Now this is more like it. You've got slip-resistant grip. Believe me, you really want that traction once you're wrist deep in somebody. The blade's stiff enough so it won't open by accident in your pocket, but it's still really easy to open with just one hand. Now that's a big thing for me. 
I know what you're thinking. It's too big, too heavy. But sometimes you just need the extra oomph. If you're talking intimidation, this is going to do the job. Also great for dismemberings and whatnot. You know, the messy jobs. Ah, I can't tell you how many things I've MacGyvered with this stuff. Okay, now, guns. Not a big fan. I mean, how are you supposed to really connect with somebody with a bullet? I want you to understand that. I take pride in what I do. We can't both be worthless hacks, can we? <laughs> 